the 1960s, a revolution was taking place in England. Legendary designer Malcolm Sayer was applying his aircraft industry experience to the question of aerodynamic efficiency of Jaguar cars. No car manufacturer had ever applied the science of aerodynamics with anything like Malcolm's focus or his skill. His designs are remembered 50 years later as some of the most beautiful cars ever made. These were to include the most famous Jaguar of them all, the E-Type. However, the beauty of these designs was driven entirely by the aerodynamic calculations and testing Malcolm did with slide rule and wind tunnel. At this time, Jaguar was having considerable success on the racetrack, but compared to its major competitors, Ferrari, Ford and Porsche, Jaguar was a small company. However, what it lacked in financial muscle it made up for by the brilliance and enthusiasm of its people. It was these people who were responsible for perhaps the most fabled Jaguar of all time, the XJ13, a prototype sports racer conceived, designed and built to win the 1966 Le Mans 24-hour race. The Malcolm Sayer design was crafted by hand. It featured the classic aerodynamics of its designer and a new 502 brake horsepower quad cam V12 engine. The car's top speed was calculated at 215 miles per hour, which in the mid-1960s was staggeringly fast. However, before the XJ13 could race, the Le Mans rules were changed, limiting engine capacity to a maximum of three litres. The XJ13's engine was too big. development did continue sporadically. This was no longer a priority of the company. During the following years, the unique XJ13, which was still under development, set a lap speed record of over 161 miles per hour at Myra, the Motor Industry Research Institute. This record stood for almost four decades. In 1971, the car was filmed at Myra for the marketing campaign to launch the V12 V-Type. 
During filming, a tire blowout caused the car to leave the track. Test driver Norman Dewis was lucky to survive the crash. However, the car was very badly damaged. Although the XJ13 was rebuilt, Jaguar made a number of changes to the original design. Many years after the crash, Neville Swale saw an eBay advert claiming to offer for sale one of the just six original quad cam engines. After buying it in Europe and bringing it home, Neville contacted Peter Wilson, who verified the engine is an original. Peter was one of the 1960s Jaguar Competitions Department team. He's an expert on the XJ13 and the author of a learned history of this car. With the help of Peter and many of the other amazing men who worked on the original car, Neville set about building the most authentic recreation of the original Malcolm Sayer design. A huge amount of research was undertaken. The world was scoured for now very difficult to find, original components. Unobtainable parts were cast and machined, and the coachwork was hand-built using the same skills and processes as in the 1960s. Many key components were remade or restored by the same men who had built the original parts 50 years earlier. In June 2016, an initial low-speed shakedown was undertaken. On the 9th of August 2016, a second shakedown was held at Kerber Sprint Course, and a considerable number of contemporary cars and their owners shared in the fun. <laughs> Peter Wilson and several of his colleagues, who had also worked on the original, were present. Mary, the daughter of the late Malcolm Sayer, gave an interesting informal speech about her fascinating father. Neville's wife Lizzie and numerous other friends of the project were also there, and the press was invited. This informal film and the following bonus material is a souvenir of the day for all those who were lucky enough to be there but also to celebrate the Jaguars designed by Malcolm Sayer and the other great sports racers of the 60s. Mostly this film is to celebrate Neville Swale's amazing recreation of the legend that is the XJ-13. After completing numerous laps, a fuel line leak caused a small fire in the engine bay. Neville quickly extinguished the flames but the XJ-13 would not be able to continue. Until next time.